I'm Maeve, if you're new to me. I'm in Los Angeles and it's cold here right now. And those of you that live in cold places, I feel bad even saying that, but it's actually cold here. Um, it's like been in the, the 40s and 50s. So in this weather, like I do this thing where I wanna wrap up in a blanket and not do anything, but then I'm also like, but I wanna move so that I get warm. So we're gonna do a little bit of that today and we're going to hopefully um, feed that side since it's, yeah, right, Laurel? Since it is wintry right now, we'll feed that sort of coziness, but we'll also heat up our bodies, open up, and we'll go from there. If you're working with injuries that you want me to know about, if you're pre or postnatal, I'm not aware of it, put it in the chat. I will get up in a few moments and I will look at it and I'll do my best actually to just cue for those in case that's the case. Full breaths in, full breaths out. Hi, Stacy. So there's some things that I say a lot because they're um, there are rituals in my own personal practice. And one of those rituals is when I arrive on my mat after a few moments of breathing, I actually just say to myself, and now the practice of yoga begins. And we know it doesn't begin and end on our mat, but in this moment I'm acknowledging that I've made this choice to be here now. And in that conscious choice of being here, I'm choosing to keep my mind and my body aligned together and on my back. So physically we can be here and our mind starts to travel off. And I will hopefully, without being annoying, remind you to keep coming back to your breath and to come back to your practice for your mind to stay present with your body. Next inhale, you're going to take your arms out to the side like a cactus. Bring your knees in. If you're in Supta Baddha Konasana and you need a little help with, with your hands, you can do that first. Your knees are going to be pointing toward the sky, but your feet are a little wider than your hips, please. And then, little mister is not cooperating here. We're going to take one hand down and then one hand up. And we're just alternating here. One hand down and one hand up. <laughs> I'm going to sit up to show you in case. You couldn't see, but this is what we're doing with the arms. Little mister's trying to thwart my attempts at moving here. He's in the camp of wrap up in a blanket and sit on the couch. And just feel how this movement is received by the shoulder girdle. Don't force anything ever. Don't force it. Good. Both arms are gonna stay like field goal, cactus. Take the knees, drop them over to the right. Oh, my back just cracked, that was glorious. Come back up to center and then take both knees over to the left. Keep the shoulders rooted. back to center. We're going to go one more time each way. Keep the shoulders rooted. Push the fingernails down. Backs of the hands down. Last time over to the left. Come back through center and then hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Pull the shoulders up off the ground. Reach the hands forward, reach the legs forward, and then rising up, take the legs straight out in front, lift up to the sky, and then bring your hands next to your hips, like so. Dandasana, fingers pointing toward your toes, broaden across the chest, push the hands down, and lift the spine up.
Good. Just soften a little. Bend the elbows. Bend both of your knees. Push your hands down. And then rise up slowly here. One more inhale, and then release down. Good. Take the backs of the thighs, inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, round the spine. Inhale, opening up. Think of this as cow. Exhale, round like you're in cat's pose. Keep that flow going there. I don't know how, but my TV just turned on like it's possessed. <laughs> I'm back now. Perfect. Keep breathing there and moving there. <laughs> I know Joe, my cat, he is, he is crazy. He loves this. He loves yoga. He swirls around me, wraps his tail around my face. I would have it no other way, if I'm going to be totally honest. I'm going to miss having my cats around <laughs> when I go back to the studio. And I miss the studio a lot. Good, rise up, cross at your shins, bring your hands around, and then come back into downward facing dog with the feet, the hands stay forward. And you have a few breaths in downward facing dog. You don't have to get there and immediately be still. Get there and then see what you need. Do you need to move around a little bit? Mm -hmm. Really good. Very nice. Very nice. Stay with your breath. Good. Katie, I see your dog. <laughs> I love it. Couple more breaths in downward facing dog. Start to move towards stillness in downward facing dog. Start to press the heels back. Mm -hmm. And we know there's no such thing as complete still, right? There's always like this subtle energy in the body. So even when we are in still visually, there's a lot that's happening to hold us there. The muscles are working, blood flows and moving, breath is moving. Right leg is gonna draw back with your inhale. Slowly start to open the hips, but keep the right leg straight and move the right foot a little to the right. Lift a little higher, and then if it feels good, bend the right knee. Circle the right ankle, and then reverse it. And then come back through center. Place your right foot up between your hands, kind of next to your right hand. Put your left knee down. And then bring your hands onto your right thigh, and then push to rise up. So there's this sense of like pushing down to draw the ribs back. Mm -hmm. And then sweep the arms up. Bend the left elbow, bring your right hand to your left elbow, just support here. And then lift up a little higher, push into both of your feet. Energetically, your front foot pushes down and draws toward the back of the mat. Your back foot, your back knee, your back shin push down and draw toward the front of your mat. If it feels good, take a little side bend here. To the right, I didn't tell you which way, but to the right. Rise back up, inhale. Sweep the arms up, and then left hand is gonna come down. Tuck the back toes, lift the left knee up. Powerful back leg, we're just gonna circle this arm around. So getting some movement, some lubrication in that shoulder girdle. Next time the arm comes overhead, stretch it forward, turn the chest open even more, lift the left thigh a little higher, outer left shin, outer right shin gently pressing inward, like you're squeezing the center line.
and then release the right hand down. Turn the back heel down. Turn your right toes a little to the left and come into Skandasana. This can be way up here. This can be down anywhere in between. If you need your hands on the floor for support, so be it. Use them. And then check out where this right knee is. Is it collapsing in from the foot? See so if you can keep the right knee directly over that right foot. Last two breaths here. And then bring your hands around slowly. Step back to plank. Inhale with strength all the way to the belly. Use your knees if you need to. If you're prenatal, you're not going down to your belly, you're going to your knees instead. Tops of the feet push down. Curl the heart forward, hug the elbows in. Feel the fronts of the shoulders rising. And connect the shoulder blades into the heart, the tips of the shoulder blades. Stretch the toes further away and push the tops of the feet down. Uh-huh. A couple more breaths here in Cobra. Little baby Cobra. Tuck your toes. Lift up. Downward facing dog. Left leg slowly back. Keep the left leg straight. Start to open the hips to the left. Keep the leg straight. Move the left foot a little to the left. So rather than back behind the right, kind of forward out to the left side. Lift a little higher, then bend the knee if it feels good. Circle the ankle and reverse it. And then come back through center. Left foot next to your left hand. Right knee down. And then bring your hands to your thighs. Push to lift up. Good, yeah. So drawing this front body back, really nice. Sweep the arms up. And then bend the right elbow if it feels good. Support with the left. And then side bend over to the left if it feels good. Energize those legs. Front foot pushes down, draws back. Back foot, back shin, back knee, whatever's in contact with the floor, pulls forward. Come back up through center. And then release the right hand down. Tuck the uh, right toes straight in the back leg. And now we're going to circle this left arm around. And the next time that arm comes overhead, we're gonna hold there for a few breaths. Last inhale. Bring the left hand around. Pivot that right heel down, toes start to come up, and then the left heel, toes kind of turn on an angle. Yeah, skandhasana, any version here. You want hands at prayer, arms up, higher, somewhere in between, real low. Your call on what you need here. And then just kind of check out this left knee. Are the foot and the knee on the same angle? Or is the knee collapsing in, the arch of the foot collapsing in? Root the foot down firmly. Very nice. One more inhale, and then come around. Step back to plank. Inhale, and exhale, chaturanga or the floor. Curl and rise, open. Downward facing dog, exhale. Smooth out your breath. So this is not a resting pose but it is a sense of home base in vinyasa. I use it as a time to remind myself to keep my mind and my body in the same place. To check in with my breath. 
acknowledge any sensation and to recommit to being here now. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and then draw your feet to your hands. Walk, step, or lightly jump. Pull the heart forward with your inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, pull the heart forward, reach the arms wide, rise up to stand. And then exhale, pull your hands into your heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. Peak of the pose, peak of the breath, pause. Exhale, forward fold. At the peak of the emptiness, the peak of the fold, you're going to pause. Inhale, pull the heart forward, fill, 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 pause, plant your hands, step back to plank on this first one, and then exhale, chaturanga or the floor, little pause at the end, inhale, rise up, fill, fill, peak of the pose, peak of the breath, ride that, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Rise to your toes, inhale. Exhale, all the breath, feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway, pause on the fullness, empty and fold. Pause on the empty, rise, inhale. Pause and exhale. So, Keeping just a little thread of that fullness, that emptiness. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Rise, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, and bow. Inhale, heart forward, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, opening up, downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. Inhale, back. Exhale, cross to the left. Inhale, back. Exhale, place your right foot next to the right hand. Keep the back knee lifted. This time, rise up. Straight up the center. Bend the left elbow, support. Take a little side bend. Come back up, inhale. Exhale, left hand down. You're going to sweep the right hand back and around for a big rotation. And then skandasana, sinking down. So we've done all these poses. Good. Keep this stance. Just wrap the shoulder into the knee, inner knee. You can also have your arm at your thigh. Square off your right foot so toes are straight ahead. Left toes a little angled forward, just a little bit. Parshva Konasana. Left hand to your sacrum for today. Roll the shoulder open. Lengthen your tailbone. Firm that left leg. Breathe into your left hand. You've got a few more breaths here if you want. This can become a half wrap, sliding the hand around, finding the thigh. We will do this again. Don't rush into a full wrap unless it's really accessible to you. If it's okay, however, reach the right arm forward. You 
can keep the left arm or you can lose it. Reverse warrior, come up and back. One more inhale. Bring the hands around to the ground. Step to plank, lower for chaturanga. Good. Every single chaturanga is optional. You do not have to take it. You don't even have to take vinyasa. You can just go to downward facing dog. Left leg back, inhale. And then bring your left knee to your left tricep. Inhale back. And then cross, exhale. Feel the end of the breath. Inhale, reach back. Left foot next to your left hand. Rise up to crescent. Inhale. So that energy of pushing against the thigh to lift, create that. Right elbow bends. Side bend if it feels good over to the left. Inhale, reach back up. And then exhale. Right hand down, left hand reaches back. And then sweep the arm around. Come around for skandhasana. So just adjust. That left heel, toes open, beautiful. And then from Skandasana, we're coming into Parjva Konasana, side angle. Turn the right toes back again, a little forward, square off the left foot. Your hand can be at the floor on a block, your arm can be at your thigh, your right hand's gonna go to your sacrum. You're breathing into this hand. Yeah. So it's much easier to breathe forward, to breathe forward into the belly where it's like all soft. <laughs> See if you can gently contain the belly and breathe into that back, breathe into the back of the hips. Yes, very nice. This hand does not have to move from here. If the half wrap is there for you, you'll sneak the hand into the left thigh. Mm -hmm. Open up the shoulder. And then notice if that changes your spine and you're puffing the front ribs. Contain the front ribs a little bit. And then if it's okay, left arm reaches forward. Good. Keep the arms loose and whatever you need. We're going to reverse warrior up and back. Mm-hmm. One more inhale, release the hands around. Step back to plank, lower all the way to your belly, please. Take your right arm out to the right. We're gonna go with a bent elbow today. So reach out for the elbow, roll onto your right side. Be gentle. A nice big stretch in the front of the right shoulder into the chest. Left hand gives you stability. Legs are squeezing and strong like you're in Vashi Stasana. Two more breaths. Come through center. Look to the right, take the left arm out to the side, and go right into your second side. This is quite possibly my favorite shoulder stretch for the front of the shoulders into the chest. So anytime anyone asks for shoulders, you're going to see this. It's just going to be on the agenda. That's how it is. <laughs> Almost anytime.
Last inhale. Come back through center. Cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale. Feel the space in the front of the shoulders. And then downward facing dog with your exhale. Pause. We're going to do all of that again with a little more speed behind it in the sense of one breath, one movement or so. There is no rush whatsoever. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, draw the knee forward. So the breath doesn't get any faster. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, cross. Inhale, back. Exhale, place your foot forward. Root to rise, crescent. Inhale. Left elbow bends, exhale, side bend. Inhale, back up. Exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches back. Inhale, sweep the arm around. And then exhale, skandasana. Inhale, side angle, open it up. Bring the hand behind the back if it's there for you. And then reverse your warrior up and back. Release your hands around. Step back to plank. Listen, all the way to your belly, please. Right arm out to the right. Straight this time. Roll onto the right side. Come back through center. Left arm out to the side. Roll onto the left side. And then back through center. Up dog or cobra, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left knee, left tricep. Inhale back. Cross to the right. Inhale back. And then place your foot forward. Root to rise. Draw the belly back. Lift the front of the hips. Bend the right elbow. Side bend. Rise up. Inhale. And exhale. Split the arms. Right down. Left back. Sweep the arm around. And then release. Skandasana, a deep side lunge, whatever that means to you. Yes. Side angle, rolling open. Arm behind the back if it's there for you. And then reversing the warrior. Bring the hands back down. Step back to plank. Lower to your belly with control. Left arm out to the left. Roll on to the left. Option to lift the right leg, put it behind the left leg on the ground. And then come back through center to the second side. Option to lift the left leg, put it on the ground behind the right leg. And then back through center. Cobra or up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog with your exhale. Come back to your breath, check in physically, mentally. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale. And then draw your hands into your heart. Exhale. Pause. Pick up your right knee. Pause here. I'm going to cross your right ankle on your left thigh. And then we're going to start to sit down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So if you could imagine there was a wall behind you, you'd be sitting straight back into that wall. Beautiful. Beautiful. You take your right hand to your right foot and start to turn to the left and maybe the left arm comes up and we're starting a little twist here. One more inhale. Bring your 
left hand down to your right foot or to your right knee. So left hand, foot or knee, we're going to stand up and we extend out. So you do not have to take the foot ever, ever, ever. Fantastic. Yes. So beautiful. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love it. We're going to stay on the left leg. You're going to stay on the left leg. You're going to release this right leg around. We're going to come into half moon. If you have a block, I forgot to put my blocks out, but if you have a block, put your left hand on it if it feels good. Really nice. So classical is perfect. If you want to work into the shoulder, into the hip a bit, you'll bend the top leg, you'll find your foot. Contain the belly gently. Push the foot into the hand to open the shoulder up. have the foot, release gently, it's not a slingshot, and then bend your standing leg, stretch the right foot back, Ooh. rising up, straighten both your legs, square your feet forward, lace your hands behind your hips, good, inhale, lift the heart up, put a little bend in your elbows, so my elbows hyperextend, if I go all the way to straight, I start stretching my elbows and not my shoulders. So for most of us, put a little bend in the elbows just to be like safe, and then hinge forward. And then from there, you can start to stretch the knuckles away. It's not about straightening the arms, it's about stretching the knuckles away and broadening across the front of the shoulders. Yes. Inhale, rise up to stand. Draw the heels and the toes open. Take the arms out wide. I'll mirror you. Right arm on top, left arm under. Eagle, Gorodasana arms. If the eagle is eluding you, you can't catch that eagle, just give yourself a hug here. Totally fine. But if you've got this, you're wrapping. Stretching the fingers long and then sinking the hips down a little deeper. Feel where your feet are. Don't even look, don't look. Just feel where your feet are. Balance the weight in your feet and then direct your knees to travel straight across the center of the foot. Take the arms wide. Take a little deeper, and then if you can, you're going to jump the feet together. If not, you just step them back in. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Pause here. You're still sideways on your mat. I know it's crazy talk. We're not facing the front. It's totally fine. Inhale, take the arms out wide. Lift the heart up. You're just breathing here. Don't even wait for an instruction. Just be here right now. Open up the heart. Feel the shoulder blades lifting the heart. Elbows can be soft. Fingers stretching wide. Open up the hands. Mm -hmm. Take up space with your body, with your breath. And then drop hands into your heart. Step to the top of your mat. So good. Little pause. 
Root down, left knee lifts up. Little pause, set yourself up. Cross your ankle on your thigh. And then start to sit back. So hips are going back pretty equally. You don't have to change the arms. If this is enough for you, you'll stay here. If this is like where you feel like you're getting the most out of the pose, you'll stay here if you want. Your left hand comes to your left foot and your right hand opens up. And you start this twist. So good. Yes. Yeah. There's a sense of buoyancy here. There's a sense of the breath giving you some buoyancy. The muscles supporting the joints. Your right hand, this lifted hand, is going to come to your left foot or to your knee, and then you rise up to stand, and we twist. Stay on this right leg. You release the left leg, it sweeps back, and you open into half moon. Broaden across the chest, across the upper back. Gently contain the belly. Gently contain the front ribs, lengthen out the low back, the tailbone. Stay here or start to bend the top leg, still containing the front body. Find your foot and then kick it away. And the more you contain the ribs, the belly, the more you're going to open the shoulder, the more you're going to open the psoas. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. release the foot, bend your standing leg, and then step the left leg back, square off the feet. We're going to take the same version of Prasarita Padottanasana, lace the hands the other way. If you have a preference of taking a headstand or another version of the pose, totally fine. But if you're good here, we're going to continue, same version with the hands laced, stretch the knuckles away, drop the head. Kneecaps lifting. Your inhale draws you up. Your heels turn in, your toes open, sit down, stretch the arms out wide. Your left arm comes on top, your right arm comes under. I'm just going to flip so I can see you. And then we sink down. We've got eagle in the arms, or maybe a hug, and goddess in the legs. So I guess that makes us an eagle goddess. Or god. What do you have here? What do you have? Maybe a little more wrap in the arms, maybe a little depth in the legs, maybe a little more connection in the feet. What do you have? Maybe you need less. Maybe you don't need more. Stay, sweep the arms out. Good, little drop, drop the arms. 
feet back in if it's okay. You can step it also. Beautiful. Inhale, open the arms up. Soften the gaze. Notice your urgency to move or your happiness at stillness. Or maybe you're indifferent. Wherever you are on that spectrum, be an observer. Sweep the arms up with an inhale. And then draw your hands into your heart with your exhale. Come back to the top of your mat, please. Inhale, chair. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway inhale. Chaturanga or not. Vinyasa to downward facing dog. Right leg back. Right knee, right tricep, right foot kicks over toward the left hand, and then we're coming into pigeon pose. Start with the back toes tucked. Start with a little lift in the hips. Push down into the pinky side of that right foot, push down into the shin, and then just start to feel the sense of lifting, of this rising energy that you could actually lift up off the ground if you wanted to. Beautiful. And then keeping some sense of that, then start to expand the pose, but still feel like you have some connection. If this pose doesn't work, thread the needle, double pigeon, anything else that actually does work on your body. Then maybe start to walk the hands forward. Keep the front foot active. Keep the front shin pushing down. I like back toes. I like to start with them tucked and I lift the leg a little bit and kind of get some length there. Then I like to release the back toes so the toenails are pushing down as if I was an upward facing dog in my left leg. And then full prostration, if you'd like, forehead down, arms overhead. We have about five more breaths here. You can stay there. You can rise up, lace your hands behind your hips, and extend the fingers back. If you have happy shoulder mobility, you can bring the palms together in reverse prayer. Don't suffer though. You can also lace the hands, bend the back leg, find the foot somewhere. There it is, there it is, and then opening here. So lots and lots of ways to explore this pose or to just stay exactly where you are. So the action of kind of pulling the front shin toward the back leg, the back leg toward the front shin, helps to balance the pelvis. Last full breath. And then bring the hands under the shoulders. Tuck the left toes. Sweep the right leg up and back. If it feels good, open the hip. If it feels good, flip into wild thing. Beautiful. And then come back around. Vinyasa if you care for it. Or just downward facing dog. And then left leg stretches back. Your left knee comes toward your left tricep. Your left foot moves toward the right wrist. And then we slowly 
create a foundation for the pose. Feeling that strength. And then as you're ready, you open up. So this pose is classically taught with the knee wider than the hip. And intentionally trying to move the foot forward. That doesn't work on everyone. It really doesn't. So if that's how you've been practicing it, just take a step back. More than anything, find your center. And that's one of the reasons I like to kind of play here. Where am I balanced? Where does it feel good? Where am I pain free? And where can I breathe? Oh boy, that's a big one. Okay, you're using the back foot. Notice if the ankle, the outer ankle, kind of pops out to the right. Try to push gently the outer ankle in and lengthen the big toe back. And then see if you can get all of your toenails on this right foot into the ground. That pinky toenail is really sneaky. Doesn't want to get down, right? And then permission to play here. If you want, you can rise up, you can change the arms, you can take the back leg. Where is she? There she is. the back toes, lifting the left leg up, open the hip, and if it feels good on your body, open up into wild thing. And then last chaturanga vinyasa of the day, if you care for it, you'll go through. And then you're just going to bring your feet to your hands, sit down, and take your feet out in front of you. Yeah, really good, beautiful. So we started here, kind of like right out of the gate. We're going to revisit it now that we've done some work in the shoulders. Fingers, hips, point toward the hips, open up the chest, and then rising up. Draw the thumbs toward each other. Maybe put a little bend in the elbows. And as you do that, notice does that give you a little more openness in the shoulders. One more breath in. Release down. Take the legs out straight. Inhale, rise up. On the next exhale, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, lengthen. And come forward. Your feet do not have to be together if you feel more comfortable, especially if you're prenatal. Take your feet out wide. Mm -hmm. You don't have to come far forward. Most days I am here. Some days this feels better. Some days this feels better. Let go of your expectations. Let go of I did this yesterday or I used to be able to or I want to be able to and then right in this moment be where you are. Drop on the kneecaps, engage the quadriceps, push the heels down gently. Pull the pinky toes a little bit more back toward your cheekbones. And then inhale, rise up. So you can rebend your legs or you can keep your legs exactly how they are. You're gonna bring your hands behind your hips just a little bit and then lift up again. Straight legged or bent knees, which we've done already. One more inhale, and then release down with your exhale. Bend your knees, roll down onto your backs, please. Give yourself a squeeze. 
And then we're going to take two back bends, bridge or upward facing bow, your choice. Bridge, I'm going to start here, lace the hands, draw the outer shoulders directly under, not down under, but directly under. Give yourself a really good strong foundation here in the arms and the shoulders, and then stretch the knees forward. One more inhale, your exhale gently releases you out. Receive the pose. One more back bend if you want. If you don't, just stay here, breathe. Bridge or upward facing bow. Inhale, you can come to the top of the head first if you'd like, and then rise up. And then releasing down, kicking the arms at your side and just lifting the legs up. Take a little pause here. If you're comfortable in shoulder stand, you're welcome to go into shoulder stand. If you want to get a quick inversion in, you can flip over, headstand, handstand. If you're comfortable here, we're just going to take a moment with the legs up, neutralizing the spine. Whatever you've chosen with your legs up, so the beautiful part of just taking your legs literally right up is that other than tight hamstrings, there's not a ton of work to be done here and you can just allow that blood flow to shift and change and you get the sense of actually having your legs up for an extended period of time. Of course, if you're comfortable in headstand or shoulder stand, you're going to get the same benefit. If you're in an active inversion, you're going to start to come out slowly. Headstanders, child's pose, shoulder stand. You can take a fish pose if you like, or you can just wait and come here, and then we're going to all twist together. Put your right foot down on the ground, cross your left leg on top of your right. Drop your knees to the right, take your left arm. Out to the left side, maybe even a little up and out to the left, kind of on an angle. Cross to the hip. And then draw back up through center. And we flip it and reverse it, and we do the same thing on the side. Right leg over left, right arm up, out on an angle if it feels good, or just straight up to the side. Turn to center and Shavasana. Release the legs. Release your arms. Release the hips and shoulders. Release your spine and your ribcage. your jaw and your eyes. Lips and tongue, toes and fingers, it all just softens. And officially welcome in a sense of surrender.
slowly, gently. And allow the deepening of the breath to bring you back into your physical body. When you're ready, you can introduce some light movement, maybe rub your hands together. And then as you're ready, find your way to sitting, however you want to get there. If you can, keep the gaze soft, maybe the eyes stay closed. Just stay internal for this last moment of your practice. Feeling the effects of this time on your mat, this time with your breath, this time getting your mind and your body in the same zone. Taking one last breath together, inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow your mind to your heart. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your presence. Have a beautiful day.